When you're designing your presentation, you're going to want to think about some elements of what makes a good and compelling presentation. You want your presentation to have variety and be dynamic, but not distracting. Too many transitions or too much delay between the information can both distract the viewer from learning what you're trying to teach them, and at the same time, delay the knowledge enough that they start to lose interest and aren't paying attention to the next thing that you're saying. So although there are a lot of transitions and a lot of different effects and things in Keynote, use them judiciously and use them when appropriate. Always ask yourself, is this enhancing what I'm doing? Is there a reason to have this transition here? Plan out everything you're going to do and don't use transitions and effects just because they happen to be there. So I'd like to just take a look at a presentation that I've done twice here, and I'd like to point out a couple of common rookie mistakes that might be inside it. So I've got this presentation on video compression. Let's take a look. So it talks about video compression. There's my title slide. And then I'm talking about two different concepts in video compression. Now my first frame comes up, my second frame comes up, and as I'm talking about these things, they're appearing and popping in, but there just seems to be a lot of transitions and there's a long delay when I'm delivering this information, the chance that the person is still paying attention by the end of this slide is a little bit less likely just because of how many different times things have to pop in. So again, these come in a little faster, but hot on the heels of that previous one, it might not be so great. And then that little sparkly transition sort of screams cliche and not necessarily professional. If this is a presentation that I'm making where I'm trying to keep everyone cheery and in a great mood, that might be appropriate. But for a presentation about something as um, time-consuming and mind-power-consuming as compression codecs, it's a little distracting. So... Now I'll take a look at the same presentation with some of that stuff removed. So I've got my two key topics on the first page. And then on the second page, I've got the frames that drop in as I'm talking about things. But you'll notice that some of the information was already there on the first frame. And the only thing that's dropping in are the things that I'm actually talking about. And they are timed with the concepts as I speak them. So I've kept it to less than three transitions on the page. These are now fine because it's not hot on the heels of a page that had six different transitions. And then I just go to the next one as I'm listing the codex because there's really no reason to transition from one spot to the other there. I had a graphic in the previous slide that was enough for people to look at, and there were three transitions in that slide. So again, you want to think of these transitions and effects as ways to break up the monotony of perhaps a long bit of information, but definitely not things that you want to put in just because they happen to be available to you.